Good evening. I'm Kip Lee Brown. And I'm John Druska. Here's our top story. <clears throat> Russia's foreign minister says that President Obama imposing economic sanctions in response to the Ukraine crisis is bullying. But shooting down a commercial airliner filled with hundreds of people is totally cool. <laughs> Microsoft is shutting down its Hollywood studio. They then plan to turn it back on again to see if that makes it run better. <laughs> Prison inmates in California are suing, claiming that while governor Arnold Schwarzenegger was responsible for exposing them to a leprosy-like disease, commented Schwarzenegger. <laughs> They should consider themselves lucky because it's not a tumor. I got you. Let's jingle all the way. Boeing is adding more seats to its 737 airliners. Boeing decided to add more seats after learning that some passengers still had leg room. <laughs> A cargo, a cargo ship en route to the International Space Station will bring the astronauts a load of odor-resistant clothing. The cargo ship hopes to be back on Earth in time for Coachella. <laughs> Taco Bell is introducing a new menu with healthier items that are less than 500 calories. The menu will consist of directions to the nearest Chipotle. <laughs> Casey Kasem's body has gone missing. So... So now Scooby and the gang will have to find the body and then bury it after making sure it's not really old man Jenkins. <laughs> and now we're hard news meets Hollywood here with the entertainment news. It's Jimmy Fallon. Oh, All right, guys. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Ryan Seacrest's model girlfriend has confirmed that they're dating. He made it official when he held her hand, looked her in the eye, and said, Seacrest in. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right. The cast of the Wonder Years reunited Tuesday on Good Morning America, commented Fred Savage. <laughs> Me? On Good Morning America? At that moment, the whole cast was happier than we'd ever been. But somehow, looking at Robin Roberts, I knew that nothing would ever be the same again. <laughs> that guy is one hell of a ventriloquist. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right. The Broadway musical based on Tupac's life closed today after six weeks. The producers downplayed the closing by saying it was no biggie. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap shots, guys. No, I'm just kidding. No shots. <laughs> Easy up. Easy up. All right. And finally, guys. The new dating show, the new show, Dating Naked, premiered Thursday night on VH1. Although if most Americans ended up being on the show, it would probably be renamed American Horror Story. Oh! It's good for that. Thank you guys! Woo! The roots, everybody! Thank you, Jimmy Fallon. Marvel has announced that the new Captain America will be black. In the first comic, he'll battle the evil, racist supervillain who owns the Los Angeles <laughs> A British woman spent over $30,000 to look like Kim Kardashian, commented one hungry orphan. <laughs> no, she looks great. I'm happy she's happy. <laughs> Food. <laughs> <clears throat> a man and a woman in Delaware were arrested for having sex on the roof of a Chipotle. The couple said they chose a Chipotle because it seemed too on the nose to do it at an In-N-Out. A woman in Florida set the record for the world's most expensive Starbucks drink when she paid over $60 for a Frappuccino. Of course, that's what you get when you go to a Starbucks located inside a Whole Foods. <laughs> According to a new study, people with self-control lead happier lives. Meanwhile, people without self-control lead the front of the line for breakfast at Taco Bell. <laughs> a new restaurant has opened on Clinton Street in Delaware City called Lewinsky's on Clinton. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> 
Lewinsky's on Clinton is the perfect place to bring a date whose sense of humor is stuck in 1998. <laughs>